So you should now have a good understanding of what tests we are using and why, what the different parts of the equipment are used for, and how to select the necessary parameters that will be used to create a client-specific target for gain. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter the necessary information and how to do all the necessary tests. The first step is to simply put in your hearing thresholds. You then press continue. And then we need to complete our RECD test that will create a target based on the real ear resonance characteristics instead of those of a 2cc coupler. Just to note that before we start testing, you will need to calibrate the equipment, which means that we will need to check that the microphones are working correctly. The equipment will ask you to calibrate at any point during the testing when it feels it is necessary. This will usually happen on the RECD screen. So when you press on measure coupler, this prompt will come up. When setting up for calibration, the test box microphones need to be as close to each other as possible. Noise will be played through the speakers and the VeriFit will check that the same sound is picked up by both the actual microphone and the reference test microphone. If the same sound is detected by both, we know that the microphone is working correctly. We are looking to ensure that this line is as straight as possible. If the line shows some distortion, it is likely that the microphones are not close enough or are at an angle. You can then rearrange them and retest until you get a straight line. Later, you may need to do the same thing with the reference and actual test microphones on the left and right ear probe attachments, if you are prompted to do so on the screen. Once calibration is complete, you may continue with RECD testing. Remember that RECD is not a measure of verification. The prompts on the screen show you exactly what to do. First, we test the coupler in the test box. Attach the coupler to the coupler microphone. And then attach the RECD transducer or speaker to the coupler like so. Push continue. The measurement should look like this. This shows the resonance characteristics of the 2cc coupler when a 55 dB sh sound is played into it. We then attach the probe microphone to your client and then place the blue loop over the test ear like so. And place the probe, which is attached to the real ear microphone, into the ear. We then place the mold in, being careful not to squash the probe. The transducer is then attached to the mold. Note that the hearing aid is not included in this test as it is not a measure of verification. We play a shh sound through the transducer and this is what we should see. If this line is significantly below the coupler line, we know that there is not a good fit for the mold and we can move the mold like this until we get a better fit. You will often see that the real ear line is slightly above the coupler line. This will happen when the occluded ear canal space is smaller than 2 cm squared, causing more natural amplification. That is, the 55 dB sound being played by the speaker is naturally amplified and is louder at the ear canal. This will mean that the target will allocate less gain at these frequencies so that over amplification does not occur. The RECD results will now be used by the VeriFit to calculate a target that is more specific to the client's real ear information. When you push continue, we will then be taken to the speech mapping page and we'll be testing whether the hearing aid is meeting the new target based on the client's real ear information. You now detach the RECD transducer 
and attach the hearing aid. And make sure that the hearing aid is on. The client should now be facing the speaker for speech mapping. You will now press 1 and then press continue once you have checked that it is presenting the correct stimulus at the correct dB level. You will now see the target and you are wanting this middle line to dissect the target across the frequencies. You can repeat the test at each of the dB levels, usually at 55, 65, and 75 dB, and manipulate the gain on the hearing aid software to ensure you get a good fit to target. In using this test to verify your hearing aid fitting, you can now be confident that your client will have the best possible gain for their particular hearing loss.